These past 15 months have been a constant reminder that this is exactly how I'm not going to do it. I figured from a young age that there is so much life out there and life itself can be made so interesting. I've been falling into really bad habits for myself, focusing on the wrong things in life. Being stuck in one place, I started to prioritize things that shouldn't be prioritized. Things I knew from early on that didn't mean much to me. But I still did it. And I could see myself changing in a way where I was becoming unfulfilled. I haven't felt like that in six years prior to my first trip out. But this time, there wasn't a way out. I've become a prisoner to my very own country and thoughts. I guess I'm making this to remind myself of the important things. Of the important things. That is, to check into flights and sit myself down on the plane, knowing that I'll be arriving in a completely different world in just a few hours. To make my way through busy places, surrounded by unfamiliar sounds and smells that is completely foreign to me. I've taken myself to over 14 different places in 2019, and a big fat zero in the last 15 months. Stopping something that gives you life completely changes your flow, and evidently, over the past year or so, it changed me. I've always said to myself, the ultimate flex, the thing that helps me have a sense of belonging has always been to try to live a simple life in a material driven world. That's the reason why I travel. But it's been questionable. I've been too heavily focused on my own business and drama, making life not so simple as before. Maybe I'm not what I say I am or try to represent all these years. Maybe I'm just an average joke craving to win life this way. I just need to remember and keep myself reminded of why I go, whether I think I do it for myself entirely or it feeds my ego. I'm pretty sure it's become the most logical thing for me to spend my time doing. I can't think of anything else better to do. It's become a delusional mindset, but it's always been my humble brag and what I've been most proud of. It's been pretty hard, I have to admit. Staying stagnant for so long really changes you. I don't know why I've been so emotionally dependent, relying on unnecessary things that don't have any value. It deluded me into thinking that that was the only way, which I'm sure it isn't. For me, that's petty, because the habits that were forming were leading me on a road to mediocrity, and I wasn't ready to be mediocre. All I need to do is to remind myself that there are only a few things in life I care about. And reflecting on this year and the last, I think I put myself in one of the best positions to do it all. That's my silver lining. Yeah.